versus Fountain Blue in a slap fighting court. If you didn't know, uh, Wynn and Fountain Blue, they are uh, at each other's throats there in court because right. uh, Wynn is saying that Fountain Blue is trying to poach their employees under contract, which I hear is a thing that kind of happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Particular, though, what happened at Fountain Blue. So text yeah. messages between Wynn and uh, their CEO, Craig Billings, and Fountain Blue's CEO, Jeff Soffer, have been included in Fountain Blue's retort to Wynn's charges. And they show Billings hammering on one of Fountain Blue staff members who I believe either may have been a former win guy or if not a former win guy, he was trying to get the win guys. Yeah. Calling them, quote, a rank amateur and saying, quote, I'd like to see you succeed, but I'm not going to take blank from an arrogant newcomer like your boy. Oh, my God. Unquote. That is a CEO. Wow. <laughs> yeah. CEOs I are just like us. They were uh, going at each other for some time, and uh, it, it's. Uh, I guess I didn't realize that that was a thing, um, but until this story. But it very much is a thing with all the casinos. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah like, and which makes sense. One goes to another, goes to another. Scott right. Sabello was one of them. Yeah, you know, Resorts yep. World. Now he's. <laughs> He's in that whole Shohei Otani investigation. We'll right. talk about that in a second. Uh, very, very interesting, whatever the case, and that's going to be a fun one. It's worth noting, by the way, the Fountain Blue people, when they were building Fountain Blue and they were staying in the city, they would stay at the Wynn. Gosh. <laughs> you thought they'd have a good relationship. Right. But as soon as they stopped staying at the Wynn, <laughs> they started taking the Wynn people. <laughs> Very fun. Uh, speaking of casinos, it's been about a year since the Rio was out of the running for the Oakland A's new Las Vegas stadium, but a feature plan for that stadium still on the list. According to the property CEO, they are still intending on building a pedestrian bridge from the property in like a park area that they want to uh -huh. build there to the back of Caesars. Although I don't know if they've like, are they, does Caesars okay with this? Like, I don't know. Hmm. Maybe that because they bought the property from Caesars. Yeah. Maybe they had this as part of the like agreement. Deal. I yeah. don't know. Stories at 1027VGS.com. I mean, they're, they're, their whole thing is like, you know, it should be easy to get to this side of the 15. Right. And there's a lot to see over here, not to mention us, but Gold Coast and, and uh, Palms and the mm -hmm. Chinatown. There's a lot to see. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm here for it. Yeah, for sure. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> this is so... <sighs> Very frustrating. Congratulations to 34-year-old Chase in Bradford, who, after only 48 hours on the job as an officer with the Henderson Police Department, got a DUI in Henderson on Friday. He was booked, arrested, this charged, and fired on Saturday. So Thursday he got the gig. Saturday he was fired. That's uh, that's so bad. Chase so in. dumb. So dumb. I mean, you know, they're not saying allegedly in their messages. So, uh, yeah, but like it's... That's pretty bad. Yeah. He, he was probationary. So, like, he was on that probationary right. period. Yep. Kind of like how we were here with the, uh, <laughs> when you first get hired, you can't get uh, you can't get insurance for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's on can't a short leash. Can't get a DUI for a little bit. Right. Do Gosh. Not, don't, don't celebrate how? with uh, a few shots there. It's so stupid and sad. Like, just what a big, huge mistake, man. Yikes. Ugh. Goodness gracious. Gross. Talking about that Shohei Otani thing. So if you don't know, Dodger star Shohei Otani is expected to dr address the media today. He got caught up in this federal illegal gambling investigation. Mm -hmm. A guy in California who was running this illegal bookmaking deal, who the Scott Sabella guy that he just got, uh, lost his gig over at Resorts World, who's been in this market forever. He's, I think he's born and raised. He lost his gig because he was tied in with mm -hmm. this guy. Mm -hmm. Well, he, Shohei Otani, who's from Japan, his interpreter was supposedly in $4.5 million in debt with the bookmaker when Otani, Otani supposedly paid off his debts with the bookmaker. To be done that, with that. That's what the interpreter said. And then the Otani people who let the interpreter have this interview with ESPN was like, wait, no, 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 no. He didn't pay. The, no, <laughs> he would mm -hmm. never do that. But, because that would probably make him right. get suspended for a year. Which... It's a mess. Yeah. So... Yeah, Shohei Otani, the biggest thing in baseball, legit. Like the his he's pretty much the league's hope right now. And uh he's tied in with this really, really ridiculous. Man. And um, yeah, this is a fun one. Today's the deadline for former President Donald Trump to post a $454 million bond after his verdict in New York that found Trump guilty of understating the value of his properties to avoid millions in taxes over several decades. If he doesn't come up with his money. His assets, like his buildings, could be seized to make bond. Trump claims he has it. However, his lawyers say he has, quote, insufficient capital to pay it in cash. So, therefore, like, his capital is all tied into the buildings, mm -hmm. one of which is right here in Las right. Vegas. Right. The Trump International, which I read, uh, I believe, in the RJ, 
that he might sell that to his buddy Phil Ruffin, who owns the TI, who owns uh, wow. Circus Circus. Wow. Got to come up with the money. Yikes. Wow. What a mess. He, he Vegas should, school. What's that? He should ask the uh, baseball player for some money. J.G. <laughs> <laughs> Wentworth. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good one. Hey, how about those Golden Knights? <laughs> Beating the Blue Jackets 3-1 on Saturday. Not all roses, though. Aiden Hill leaving the game with an injury in the third. He will not be taking the upcoming road trip, which begins tonight in St. Louis. What a mess. Goodness gracious. I mean, yeah. he's he's been having it this, this, uh, this season so far, and hopefully he can get back to it pretty quickly. UNLV Lady Rebels. Oh, man. First round NCAA tournament falling to Creighton. 87-73, a hell of a season, though. Mm-hmm. The ladies did incredible. Yeah, it was, the game wasn't even like, just the beginning was good, but out of nowhere, we're just down by a significant yeah. amount. I'm like, and you, you just knew. Yeah, Sad. and they were they were pretty low, I think they were 10th seed or something like mm-hmm. that. We're like, how dare 10th seed, but there are some good teams out there. Yeah, just, really, really yeah. good teams. Really, really good, good girls. The, the, arguably, I think the girls' tournament's far, far better than the guys this year. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty awesome. So women's sports right now is a massive resurgence. Yeah. Uh, UNLV Runner Rebels beat Boston College 79-70 in the NIT. Their next game, the quarterfinal round on Wednesday. Henderson Silver Knights bo- lost both of their Milwaukee games over the weekend. Now they are facing the Condors here in town on Friday. Las Vegas Desert Dogs lost to San Diego in overtime 10-9. Next game, they return home Saturday versus the Warriors. Vegas Thrill got blanked by San Diego 3-0. Next game tomorrow versus the Rise. Las Vegas Lights beat El Paso 1-0 on Saturday. Their next game is Saturday at Oakland. The Vegas Nighthawks indoor football won their season opener in Arizona 43-45-43. to uh, Next uh, game, a home opener versus the Sharks on Sunday. And, oh, boy, this is... <sighs> G League Ignite lost both of their games against Salt Lake City. 120-108 on Friday, 128-108. 87 on Saturday. They have one more home game tonight versus South Bay and one more game on the road in Ontario. And then that is it for the G League Ignite. There you go. We'll let you know how much they lose by tomorrow morning. <laughs> Traffic and a bridge over the 15s closed through Friday morning. Las Vegas weather. It's currently 46 degrees. It's a high of 64 today. Sunny this morning, cloudy this afternoon.